have been teaching on the four S's of Joseph um, as an underlining success keys to enjoying the true riches. Our topic is the true riches, which uh, the text has been read from Luke chapter 16, verses 11 and 12. In verse 11 specifically there, it was Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who was speaking there and said, if you are not faithful in the worldly wealth, who will give you true, the true riches? Praise the name of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, God has provided enough riches for everyone. I can say that categorically. God has provided enough riches for everyone. And there is a process of getting these riches. That is, there is a way to getting the riches of God, the true riches of God. And what do we mean by the true riches of God? The true riches is to live, have, and become all that God has created you to be. That includes wealth and impact. The summary of the true riches is becoming all that God has created you to be. You to live, have, and become all that God has created you to be. The summary of that is your wealth and impact. While you're living here, on this planet Earth. So, by the help of the Holy Spirit, we have discovered that Joseph in the Bible is an epitome of a man who understood how to translate the grace of God to achieving the true riches. Praise the name of the Lord. And we have captioned this uh, keys as the four S's of Joseph, the four S's of Joseph. Number one S is skill, skill. You have to develop skill. You have to use skills. Number two S is service, service. You have to meet human needs by applying the skills that you have developed your skills and talent. The Bible says a man's gift makes way for him. Number three S is self-discipline, self-discipline. So when you apply your skills in service, doors will open. However, you need discipline, self-discipline to sustain those doors that have opened and to continue to thrive. And number four S is sacrifice, sacrifice. These four S's with a clear vision or dream, as some people will call it, led Joseph to wealth and impact, as we have just said. So we are here to continue to learn those uh, four S's. Joseph became very influential in Egypt. Anywhere he went, he took over. And people willingly submitted to him Pharaoh said to him in Genesis 41, 44, I am Pharaoh, and without your consent, no man may lift his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. Do you want to become impactful and have this kind of wealth, the true riches? God will make you like Joseph. God will make me like Joseph. The answer is in the four S's powered by a clear vision. So that's what we want to look at. So we have looked at the key of skill, service, and self-discipline. Today we want to look at the key of sacrifice, the key of sacrifice. Praise the name of the Lord. What does sacrifice mean? The sacrifice means to give up or delay immediate and short-term gratification for long-term gain. To give up or delay immediate and short-term gratification for long-term gain. Sometimes 
It also involves enduring pain, inconveniences, and hardship in order to achieve the ultimate desire and goals. Sometimes it also involves enduring pain, inconveniences, and hardship to achieve one's ultimate desires and goals. It also implies to live for the bigger goals beyond oneself, to live for the bigger goals beyond oneself. Sacrifice and self-discipline go hand in hand. Sacrifice and self-discipline go hand in hand. Praise the name of the Lord. Some of these examples I have given, I'll just illustrate with one very simple example uh, about giving up immediate gratification or short-term um, uh, uh, that short-term advantages or privileges for a longer-term uh, ultimate goals. Take, for example, you want to be a renowned publisher of impactful books. That means you want to make impact through publishing books. And a bank offers you 200,000 Naira per month salary. And there is an NGO that offers you 120,000 Naira a month to manage their admin and publication. A bank offers you 200,000 Naira per month to be a cashier, count money, record money for them. And an NGO offers you 120,000 Naira to manage their admin and publication. Uh, department, which one will you take? Remember, you want to be, your dream is to make impact through publishing of books. You want to be a renowned publisher of impactful books. Which one will you take? Obviously, it will be a sacrifice of the short-term gain uh, that 200,000 Naira a month may offer you for you to go into um, the NGO offer of 120,000, but you see that the opportunity in the NGO offer of 120,000 uh, immediately prepares you for that vision, that dream that you want to achieve in the long term. So this is how the principle of sacrifice operates. We're talking about uh, Joseph. So let's look at Joseph, a man that sacrificed, practiced sacrifice, giving up immediate or short-term gain for the longer term, bigger picture, greater goals, better and greater fulfillment, living for something that is bigger than yourself and the immediate uh, moment. So in Genesis chapter 39, let's read from verse 5. So it was from the time that he had made him overseer of his house and all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was on all that he had in the house and in the field. Six, thus he left all that he had in Joseph's hand. Very similar to the example that we've just looked at here. You remember Joseph was taken to Egypt and sold to Potiphar? So this is Potiphar's house now. And Joseph quickly served using the skills he had. And he continued to develop. And he was immediately made an overseer in the house of Potiphar. We continue to read verse 6. Thus he left all that he had in Joseph's hand. And he did not know what he had except for the bread which he ate. Now Joseph was handsome in form and appearance. Seven. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph. And she said, lie with me. Eight, but he refused and said to his master's wife, look, my master does not know what is, in, is with me in the house. And he has committed all that he has to my hand. There is no one greater in this house than I, nor has he kept back anything from me but you because this 
but you, because you are his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? 10. So it was, as she spoke to Joseph day by day, that he did not heed her to lie with her or to be with her. Praise the name of the Lord. Sacrifice. Joseph knew the consequence of refusing the wife of his master, but he was ready to suffer that consequence than lose his dream. In the short term, for some people, ah, the house of Potiphar is already good. Potiphar has handed over the house to you. Like some people, you have shown skills. You have served in an organization. The organization says, wow, this is a unique person. This is the man that will take the hems of affairs in this organization. And they begin to entrust so many things into your hand. Immediately, you begin to misbehave. You begin to do all manner of things. What will happen? What will happen? Sacrifice. Giving up short-term gain in order to fulfill longer-term goals. So, Joseph refused to lie with Potiphar's wife. There are two sides to this. One is the gain, the profit. You don't know what the Potiphar's wife may have been promising him. If you lie with me, you have heard of uh, women who have killed their husbands because a young man has deceived her that if you kill, I will marry you. <laughs> so you don't know what she may have promised him. You'll be the man of the house. You will take over. We don't know. But Joseph said, I cannot do this wickedness. Second part of this is Joseph understood that he had a bigger goal. So this was a small fry for him to stop here. You will not stop halfway. Your dream will not be cut short. The power of sacrifice. Delaying short-term gratification will help you, and you will stay the course till you fulfill your dream in Jesus' name. So for you to really practice sacrifice then, you really need to be clear about your dream. So we've already defined, given the definition of sacrifice, the areas of sacrifice that one has to practice in privileges like Potiphar's wife, offered um, Joseph. Time, lifestyle, and habits, economic and finance. You know, some people cannot hold on. Once they get money, they, they want to blow it. Health and food. There are other areas. You increase this list and practice sacrifice. The point to make here is that sacrifice and discipline go hand in hand. You will find that Almost every area that you exercise discipline will also be applicable in exercising uh, uh, um, control, delay, giving up short-term gratifications and benefit so that you can gain the ultimate goal. Some key points to note. It is the hope of the dream and vision that gives strength to sacrifice. Sacrifice brings great opportunity for learning and growth. I will stop here and we'll go back to the scriptures. So Joseph was clear about his dream. When you read the scripture and see the build up to the final point in Genesis chapter 45, 1 to 4, and uh, where Joseph told the brothers, that it was actually God that arranged all that happened to him. You will see that Joseph became an interpreter of dreams. So Joseph understood how to interpret dreams. That's the key that 
indeed indicates that Joseph actually understood what his dream meant. And you will also see that when Joseph was speaking to the butler, he told the butler, when you go, mention me to Pharaoh. So Joseph understood where he was going. Praise the name of the Lord. So for you to be able to effectively practice sacrifice, you need to be very clear about the dreams and vision. Because as you've just seen there, it is your dream and vision that gives strength to sacrifice. Let's quickly then look at the dream of Joseph, the real meaning of the dream of Joseph. You see, this is another thing to learn. When we talk about dream and visions, some people may be just talking about um, the storyline of what they dreamt. You may have a dream, real dream, just like Joseph dreamt, you dream it. But that dream, you need to subject it to interpretation by the Spirit of God to really know what that dream means so you can walk towards it. And even the dream that, as we just said, somebody who wants to become uh, impactful through publishing of books, that is a dream, yeah? You need to be able to translate the dream appropriately. So in Genesis chapter 45, let's read verses 1 to 5. There we see the dreams being made, uh, if I want to seven, very clear. Then Joseph could not restrain himself before all those who stood by him. And he cried out, make everyone go out from me. So no one stood with him while Joseph made himself known to his brothers. And he wept aloud. And the Egyptians and the house of Pharaoh heard it. Then Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Does my father still live? But his brothers could not answer him, for they were dismayed in his presence. Verse 4. And Joseph said to his brothers, please come near to me. So they came near. Then he said, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold into Egypt. Five. But now do not therefore be grieved or angry with yourself because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve life. That's number one. To do what? To preserve life. Six. For these two years, the famine has been in the land, and there are still five years in which there will be neither plowing nor harvesting. Seven. And God sent me before you to preserve a posterity for you in the earth and to save your life by great deliverance. Eight. So now. It was not you who sent me here, but God. And he has made me a father to Pharaoh and lord of all his house, and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. So, what was Joseph's real dream? The real meaning of Joseph's dream, that dream you heard. Number one, the dream of Joseph. So if Joseph were to cap caption his vision, capture his vision, his vision will read like this. Number one, to preserve life. And that is in verse five. Number two, verse seven, to preserve the posterity of Israel in the earth. You see? Now, and save their lives. And number four, to be a ruler of the people. You see, when you stay at the point where he was dreaming only, often all you would see is, oh, to be a ruler of the people. But that was just a part of it. The fullness of the dream was to preserve lives and to preserve the posterity of Israel in the earth. God saw ahead that famine was coming that will wipe out People wipe out the land, and he sent Joseph ahead. Praise the name of the Lord. So with this, let us look at the example of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. He says, let us fix our eyes on Jesus. 
the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Can you appreciate that? So even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ endured the suffering. Why? Because of the joy that was set before him. The joy, number one, of winning you and me to God. Hallelujah. Number two, sitting at the right hand of the Father and having authority and power and dominion and rulership and glory, everything you can think of over all of God's creation. Praise the name of the Lord. Look at verse 3 of Hebrews chapter 12. It says, consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. So that you will not grow weary and lose heart. What is that dream? There will be opposition, just like the brothers hated Joseph. They sold him and said, let us see how that your dream will come to pass. Beloved brothers and sisters, there will be opposition. He says to G about Jesus, he said, consider him who endures such opposition from sinful men so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Pursue your dream. That dream God has given you, pursue it. Don't give up. I want to tell you that many people spend too much time worrying about dream killers. You are not to worry too much about dream killers. Rather, you should focus on the one who fulfills dreams. Our God is the one who fulfills dreams. He is a dream fulfill, fulfiller. He fulfills your dream. He fulfills our dreams. So, let's also look at the example of Paul. In Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14, Paul said, brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the price of the upward or higher call of God in Christ Jesus. Can you see that? There is always a price. That is the vision. That is the dream. Your price, the price strengthens your sacrificial effort. Your price strengthens, gives you strength to practice sacrifice, strength to sacrifice. Praise the name of the Lord. Another example is Esther. Esther in Esther chapter 4, verse 16, you know the popular quotation, if I perish, I perish. Esther said she will go in and see the king to intercede on behalf of the Jews so that Haman will not destroy the Jews. And she said, if I perish, I perish. The price of the dream is always the main driver for the sacrificial efforts. So get the dreams set. Get the visions written down and make it clear. Your dreams and your vision, of course, must be bigger than you. It must be such that will bring you to wealth and impact. Praise the name of the Lord. So let's look at Joseph, then a few points around Joseph, and then we will take questions and discussion. So a few points about Joseph. We go back to that Genesis chapter 39 then. Let's look at verses 20 through 23. We may not be able to read all the portion. I encourage you to study this Genesis from chapter 37 to chapter 46. Okay. So chapter 39, if we look from verses 20 through 23, let's read it again and remind ourselves. Then Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were confined, and he was there in the prison. But the Lord was with Joseph 
and showed him mercy. And he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners who were in the prison. Whatever they did there, it was his doing. The keeper of the prison did not look into anything that was under Joseph's authority because the Lord was with him. And whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. Just like our theme for this month, our month of fruitfulness. Psalm 1 verse 3, whatever we do, prosper. Whatever Joseph did, the Lord made it to prosper. Key point here is that Joseph was thrown into prison. It, that, that prison, again, was a place, number one, for him to continue to serve. So Joseph has practiced being CEO, chief executive officer in the house of Potiphar. It was now time for Joseph to be promoted to a higher level. So he was thrown into prison and where he practiced to serve again. And you could see here, again, his skill and service brought him to limelight and he was made the one in charge of all the prisoners. Number two, the prison was the place for Joseph to make connection, to make connection. Hallelujah. It was in this prison that Joseph met the officers of Pharaoh, officers of Pharaoh that were brought into prison. Number three point that we must learn, which I mentioned before, is that sacrifice brings great learning and growth. Sacrifice brings great learning and growth. Praise the name of the Lord. So in chapter 40, chapter 40, just to touch on a, a few points, Joseph continued to serve by interpreting dreams. As I mentioned, you remember the story, Pharaoh's butler and baker, chief butler, not just any butler, the chief butler and the baker, chief baker, were thrown into the same prison with Joseph. And there uh, they had a dream. Each of them had a dream. And Joseph interpreted the dream for them. Praise the name of the Lord. When they wanted to leave the prison, as Joseph interpreted the dream, look at verse 14. But remember me when it is well with you. And please show kindness to me make mention of me to Pharaoh and get me out of this house. You see there, Joseph knew this was not where he would end up. Oh, you would have thought that with that, once Pharaoh Butler went out of there, he would remember Joseph. No, 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 no. He left there. Praise the name of the Lord. And he forgot Joseph. <laughs> oh, glory be to God. Beloved brothers and sisters, keep pressing on. So you've seen here, Joseph pressed on. He was serving in the prison, but he knew he is going somewhere bigger, somewhere mightier, somewhere higher. He said to the butler, remember me when it is well with you. Mention me, please mention me to Pharaoh. Show me kindness and mention me to Pharaoh. He was pressing forward to the higher call of God for his life. Keep on pressing on, brothers and sisters. Don't give up. Don't stay here. Don't become complacent. Keep moving on. Keep doing something about your dream and vision. For there is God that fulfills dreams and vision, and he will bring you there. I want to tell somebody here categorically that God has not forgotten you. He has not given up on you. He will bring your dreams and visions to pass in Jesus' name. Ah, you had a dream to raise those stars, those children, and make them stars unto God. And it seems as if everything has turned upside down. Don't give up. God has not forgotten you. The one who brings dreams to pass is still with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, he will bring your dream to pass. God 
Lord is not a man that he should lie, neither is he the son of man that he should repent. If he has said it, he will do it. If he has promised, he will bring it to pass. The butler went and forgot Joseph. Men may forget you, brothers and sisters, but God will never, never forget you. In fact, in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 15, Isaiah 49, verse 15, he says, God himself said, can a woman forget her sucking child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? It's the Bible says, yes, yeah, she may yet forget. But God said, I will not forget you. God will not forget you. God will bring your dream to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Be ready to press on and endure hardship and sacrifice. The short-term gain, short-term pleasure for the long-term ultimate achievement of your vision and dreams and desires and goals. In verse 16, God said, I have inscribed to you, that is, graven you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. So God is saying that when I look at my hand, I see you. Hallelujah. When I look at my hand, I see you. I have written your name on the palms of my hand. Men may forget you, but God will never forget you. The butler forgot Joseph. Oh, but in chapter 41, God showed up. God showed up. Let's look at that chapter 41 very quickly. He says, then it came to pass, from verse 1, that, then it came to pass, and at the end of two full years, two full years after the butler left, that Pharaoh had a dream, and behold, he stood, and you know the dream. Please read it. After two full years, of Joseph being forgotten and continuing in the prison, God showed up. Pharaoh had a dream. In verse 8, no one, no magician could interpret. I tell you that God will arrange a blessing for you. It may be a job that your CV only fits. It may be a product that the whole land meets, and you are the only one that has that product. It may be a problem only you can solve. God will arrange your time of breakthrough for you. But you, the important thing is you have to learn skill, develop skill, and serve, grow, endure, sacrifice, discipline, because that's the way to learn and grow. Praise the name of the Lord. In verse 9 and 10, the chief butler of, of chapter 41, the chief butler remembered Joseph. And look at what he, he said. He said, then the chief butler spoke to Pharaoh saying, I remember my fall this day. When Pharaoh was angry with his servant and put me in custody in the house of the captain of the guard, both me and the chief baker, we each had a dream in one night. He and I, each of us had a dream according to the interpretation of his own dream. Now, there was a young Hebrew man with us there. You see the connection. Oh, be kind to the people you meet on your way up because you do not know what role they will play in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Develop the skill. You remember one of the skills we said you should develop is the skill of relationship relationship so go back to those lists and practice i tell you if you develop those six skills uh, areas of skills that we listed you will go very high in life and very far so she uh, he remembered joseph and as you know in verses 14 to 16 pharaoh sent for joseph and Joseph interpreted Pharaoh's dream. 
and Pharaoh made Joseph. Again, the CEO of the land of Egypt. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. And that's where I read when Pharaoh said, I am Pharaoh. I am Pharaoh. And in this land of Egypt, he said, no one else is higher than you, Pharaoh, uh, Joseph. No one may move a foot unless you give the consent. Joseph became the prime minister of Egypt, as some people uh, will say. This is where we will pause as I summarize. So the keys of skills, service will open door for you. And when they open door for you, when they give bring opportunity, you need discipline to sustain the course and continue to increase and you need sacrifice to stay the course till the fulfillment of your dream. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to pause here and take some contributions and questions. Now the, how, the floor is open. What question, what contribution do you have? Uh, yes, Pastor. What I want to say is that uh, uh, from what you've taught this morning, uh, you really made the, that aspect of uh, service very, I mean, uh, sacrifice very clear to me this morning. And that uh, sacrifice has to do with uh, someone being able to see the future and then letting go certain things that would have made him to be maybe happy for a moment then in the future he won't have the happiness again yeah. like in the case of like in the case of Joseph he would have uh, misbehaved by sleeping with the master's wife and then having that immediate uh, gratification but he didn't do that because he knew that what is ahead of him in the future was actually better than what we will gain from sleeping with the master's wife. And again, when he met with the brother uh, in chapter 45 of Genesis verse eight, he also let them know that uh, uh, what they did against him was not because they actually wanted to do that. That was the will of God for them to do that so that he would be able to have the, the, the grace to serve them, to serve the family, to serve the... Uh, the lineage and what have you. So the point here is that as Christians, what I learned here is that as Christians, it's not everything that happened to us that is just uh, the way we think. Sometimes it's the will of God that certain things happen to us so that we can learn from there and that we can also get to our future uh, plans that God has for us. So I really thank you this morning for this uh, teaching. May God bless you, Pastor. Thank you, and God bless you, my brother. Yeah. Okay, next person. Yes, Sister Gertrude. The floor Good morning is yours. for me. Good yeah, morning, family. Yeah, I was passed family. out from today's um, teaching on sacrifice. Is a fact that God will never forget me. Mm. He never forgot Joseph. Mm. You know, with all what he went through from Potiphar's house, he went to the prison. He was standing out for God and integrity. So he went to the prison. Mm. And there he interpreted, he used his gift of interpretation to interpret and ask this person that I have come to prison not because of my fault. So please mm -hmm. remember me. And mm -hmm. this person, when he went out, he forgot mm. Joseph. Yeah, but in God's own timing, yes, he that person was reminded, and Joseph came out. So God will never forget me. Amen. 
God will never forget any of my brothers or sisters Amen. here in this platform. Amen. When it's his time, he will do it. Amen. And for the assignments you gave to me, should I go on? Or yes, please, later? go on, go on, go on. This is what this is okay. about. And then um, last week, we talked about um, self-discipline, timing. And I was very much touched on the area of timing. Because I know since this pandemic started, I sleep very late around 2 a.m. Here, there it will be 1 a.m. Is mm. it 1 a.m.? Yes. Yeah. And I wake up very late. And <laughs> when I was challenged that Great. as a Christian, I shouldn't wake up late. So mm. I told God, now I will try and discipline myself in time. I will sleep earlier, go to bed 12 o'clock or maybe 11, your 11 o'clock there so that I'll be able to wake up for six and pray. Mm. And that's what God has been helping me to do this last week to today. Wow. That when it's six o'clock, I'll have the prompting to get up. Even if I don't get up from the bed, because it's very cold here, I pray. I just stay in bed and pray Amen. until when I'm able to comfortable to have my quiet time or devotion. So that is one on timing. And then for the people's skill, oh, I saw so much. Pastor. Wow. I don't know. Um, I, I went to the internet and got a few things. I'll just name only 10 here and then leave the rest because you're giving me, is it one, uh, one minute or what? <laughs> it talks about people's skills. Yeah. The people's skills are the tools you use to communicate and interact effectively with others. Individual with, individuals with people's skills, strong people's skills are able to predict behavior, relate to others and socialize easily. Mm -hmm. People's skills also are known as soft skills, mm -hmm. yes. interpersonal skills, social skills, emotional intelligence, and inter, interpersonal intelligence. Yes. And then um, I also got 10 essential people skills you wow. need to succeed. Yeah. And that is known as science of people. So I, I even uh, um, enroll for a course of science of people, which oh, is very right. interesting. And there are yeah. about 10 of them. The first one is social assertiveness. I won't mm -hmm. explain because it's much. The second is crafting a memorial presence. Yeah. The third is be a master communicator. Mm -hmm. The fourth is sustain lasting confidence. The fifth is be an excellent conversationalist, like master conversation. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. sixth is be highly likable. Mm -hmm. Seven, exceptional decoding, interdecoding, emotional something decoding. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yes, yes. And then eight is pitch yourself your ideas. Mm -hmm. Nine, be charismatic. Yes. And ten, be an influential leader. Wow. And then they say bonus for one is be productive. So yeah. There are so many things, Pastor, but I yeah. was very blessed when I went to do this. Thank you. Great. <laughs> this is what it is about. I'm so proud of you, man. And I'm so <laughs> pleased to hear these changes that this teaching has brought in your life. Oh, and it will continue to bless your life in the name Amen. of Jesus. Continue Amen. to practice um, what you're learning. Okay, Sister Comfort. Yeah, please go ahead. Yes. Sister, Sister Comfort is laughing in the Holy Ghost already. Wow. <laughs> Pastor, it's, it, it has been amazing. Glory be to Thank God. Thank God so much for this Sorry. platform. And the scripture that says, a little thing is a little thing, but faithfulness in a little thing is a great thing. Yes. I've seen it. I started right. with the service. I start with skill, the service. You won't believe it. This, I told my children, can you imagine? I have all this, but I've been mm. so lazy. I enter, I said, skill, what skill am I? The moment I look at skill, can you believe I started learning English? <laughs> Great. <laughs> good, good communicating. And 
I, I went on and on, look at something like changing, you, you will say very interesting, very poor. Yes, it's a good English, but can you, instead of saying very interesting, can you say fascinating? Instead of saying very poor, can you say impoverished community? You, you know, it looks simple, but I, it becomes so, so, so exciting. And I, I don't remember the word of um, the, uh, when I read the, um, this lady's book, Serena Williams. Mm -hmm. Serena said he had been a Jehovah Witness, but the scripture that stood out for her in achieving what she is achieving is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse. Um, 31. Is that no? Yeah. What does the scripture say? Just give. Uh, the scripture says that we, uh, um, whatever you are doing, whether you are eating, whether you are drinking, yes. do all things for God's glory. Yes, so that's, very that's much Corinthians 10 31. You're right. Uh, service because of this. Thing. Everything she wants to do, she focuses on that. And mm -hmm. that keeps her going. Yeah. I want to tell you, applying that, <laughs> I did, uh, I just say, what I went out. When I went out to do something, then I saw something I knew women would want. I used my money, I purchased this thing, and I called them. I said, This is what I've done. They say, ah, how, how did I said, okay, if you, this is this, this is that, mm -hmm. this is what, how much it has cost me. Mm -hmm. They say, okay, are you sure it's, it's as good as I say you will see? When I finished, I said, how will they get it? I said, don't worry, I have, um, I have my time. I'm going to bring it for you. When I took this thing, they are husbands. That is the most exciting thing. The husband was so happy. And one of the women asked me, how could you, how could you do all this thing? Mm. I thought you need so much. I mm. say, if I can do it for you. My, so the, the husband was so happy. They paid mm. their money without their wives. And they even called me to say, thank you so much. Since they really? came to South Africa, that Great. is the first time of their seeing that. Wow. So that service of, I, I thought it was small, mm. but the blessing I'm receiving, yes. the wife called me, yes. this one, thank you for your sisterly action. So, ah, is this what they've been missing by mm -hmm. God? So I, 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 I thought, and I will tell you that the blessing and the benefit both physical and spiritual benefit yeah. I have gained this yeah. week. I cannot mention it. Wow, so, glory be to God. Is, is for us to know, like you have said, we have every tool, we have every skill that God has blessed us to use in this Great. world Great. so that we gain life, <laughs> enjoy life here, and also everlasting life in God's kingdom. Amen. God. Amen. And you and see, I will, sorry, my, I'm sorry to go too okay, far. Okay, please go. You on. won't believe that to the song I was singing, the song they gave me today is the song, the name in the, the name of Jesus, every wow. shall come. So that yeah. had been, I had wanted to send it to, in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. So, wow. Um, and then, and, we, and, and independently, we picked a song very close and to that. I was, I was, I was shocked. What a powerful so, name it is. What a wonderful name powerful it is. Powerful name. Powerful the name, name of Jesus. Thank the you for sharing that. Uh, the loss is the comfort. So I think this is all life testimony. This is all 
live example, but I can see Sonia has opened his line. Oh, Pastor, please, uh, Pastor, uh, I would have done this earlier than this. Uh, I want that uh, uh, the, the students are here with me in the service this morning. Oh, okay. So, Great. yeah, some of them want to speak with you because uh, this uh, good news is not to be for one person. They have to share with other people. So many of them decided to come this morning to be in the service. So we have some of them that want to say one or two things. So just give them one minute, Pastor. Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. student, we are, we are here for them. I'm sure everybody will endure to hear Hello, the good student. morning, Pastor. Good morning. It's not just Pastor that is here. The whole family yeah, of God's I'm, people are here. I'm so. Michael by name. And I want to thank you for the prayer you get, uh, made for us on Friday. Yes. That was on Wednesday, so I'm so grateful to the, for the prayer. And this morning, I've also learned a lot from Joseph's story. He humbled himself, he sacrificed himself, he let go of earthly pleasures. In terms of pleasure, he let go of certain things so that he can make his part, God can make his part um, great. So even yeah. when he was in Potiphar's house, even if they were, when the wife of Potiphar decided to seduce him to lie with her, he, re he rejected it. Rather, he humbled himself. He gave, I allow God to take permanent control. So I love that. I learned a lot this morning, and I pray that God bless you for sharing this platform with us, the student. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for sharing the platform with me. I'm very glad to have you, uh, my brother. Morning, I got the name right. Yes, please Good go morning, ahead. Pastor. Morning to you. Good morning, go ahead. Pastor. My name is Matthew Edidio. Okay, Matthew. So I really want to appreciate you for your support towards the, uh, the student of Mr. Abia. I really appreciate you, sir. Great. Secondly, I want to I want to thank you for the teaching um this morning. I really acquired some knowledge. Like me personally, I won't have been able to endure what uh, Joseph was passing through, but from there I I've, I've really acquired much knowledge from him so sir i really thank you for the teaching this morning and for your support sir thank you so that's it we're grateful let us one round of yeah, now thank you. thank you thank you so one round of now everyone wherever you're connecting from if you have not given your life to jesus this is the time to surrender your life to jesus and Jesus said, he that comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. So on your own, tell him, Lord Jesus, pray with me. I surrender my life to you. Heavenly Father, forgive me my sins and cleanse me with the precious blood of Jesus. Give me your Holy Spirit and help me to live and fulfill your purpose of my life here on earth. And when you come back, Jesus, to take your church, the true church of Christ, to yourself. Let me go with you. Let me be with you. Thank you, my Father and my God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.